was on the stage this, uh, on this paper bag and the, there was reference made to it all day long about can this be art? A paper bag with a picture of a soup can on it and uh, that was the whole story of the show, uh, of that show at that time, uh, talking about can it be? Could it possibly be art? And by the end of the day, yes, it could. So I was able to buy the post. It's just a poster, but I love it so. And so uh, typifies Andy Warhol. He was just coming out with his soup cans and um, his Rillo boxes, which were very controversial. I went to that was 1967. So in 1978, I went to New York and I went to his factory to meet him and see his work, see his workshop and so forth. So it was terribly exciting. I didn't, I didn't make an impression on him. So, but there was a lot, big crowd around. So that's the way it was. So, um, and there, there was a, a rock group from London was there and Raquel Welch was there and I guess she took all his attention for the moment. <laughs> but it was exciting and grand anyway. Because he, now he was doing uh, big major things, including portraits of Marilyn Monroe and all the big... And he had assistants who came along and mixed up the colors. The c paints were in uh, plastic cups and uh, none were topped, and so the paint was gonna dry up. So my job that day was to go behind and the, in the work studio and cover all those paints that were such great colors. I didn't get a thank you note from him, but I know he appreciated it. <laughs> this has been a fun piece. Uh, I was able to acquire it at a gallery a long time ago, but it's a Christo wrap book. That's the significance. And uh, he did it because uh, an art magazine wrote to some of the best big time artists of that day and said, what do you think about modern art? And this is what Christo did, is he wrapped the book in plastic and twine and sent it back to the publisher of the magazine and they just kept it as a piece of art. I went to Museum of Modern Art and uh, was walking through and I thought, I think I'm kind of tired of the of the uh, <coughs> Picassos and the uh, and the other things that were in the in the Museum of Modern Art. And then I came upon this huge LED sign done by Jenny Holzer, and she also did a concrete bench to sit on or a marble bench. And I just sat and was mesmer mesmerized by her work. So I have a little piece, a little which uh, she, she has a lot of social comment to say in this world. And, and then, so also in, in clothing, there's wearable, what is called wearable art. And this piece was done by an um, artist in, in Santa Fe. Santa Fe, she made that for me. It's called the Texas Club. And over here are, uh, is a local artist um, Ed Nichols, from who used to teach at Pan Am, now he's retired. But anyway, I've always loved his work. He did uh, a lot of landscapes and so forth. Anyway, those were fun, fun. Here's another example of crafts, uh, and these were done by Ed Rossback, who made them for me, and uh, he was the leading basket maker in the U.S. He died a couple of years ago, and uh, he's no longer, but he did just wild and wonderful baskets. That was his life work. We see another basket maker named John Garrett, who also made these pieces for me. And, and always uh, get my attention and my joy. It is so exciting to be in McAllen now where a lot of art is being produced and a lot of art is being shown. And it's great to have the Friday night art walk and to have the incubator and to have a, 
of various artists living around and making work, but it's just fun to be a part of that. Yeah. For Ann Moore, while well, I'm gonna bring my babies home this weekend and kind of reorganize my house again, get it back to where it was. And so that's my project. It'll probably take several months to uh, really feel comfortable again with 